Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to a Monday edition of Pleasant Pathways from Poppy. Uh, we're going to have storytelling time. I hope you've enjoyed these. Uh, I have found lots of books that my children read when they were smaller. Uh, it's been a good uh, trip down memory lane for me to take a look at some of these and read them back to you. Today's book is The Magic Pot by Patricia Coombs. Uh, this is a book with a very, very good lesson. Hopefully you'll listen carefully as we read it, and in the end, we'll talk about just what those lessons might be as we uh, understand a bit more about The Magic Pot by Patricia Coombs this morning. Once there was a funny little demon. He looked around and looked around. Hucka pucka, hucka pucka, said the demon and turned himself into a black iron pot. He sat himself down at the side of the road. The road went by a little hut where an old man and his old wife lived. In a little while, along came the poor old man. He had been to the rich man's house to beg for work and a bit of bread. He saw the pot. Well, something is better than nothing, he said, and he took it home. I'm gonna try to show you these pictures each time I read a page so that you can see what I've read and note the pot there and the old man walking down the road. His old wife met him at the door. Did you get some work and a bit of bread? I did not, said the old man. All I got was hard words and a few hard whacks. If you're too old to work, then you're too old to eat, they said. What will become of us, cried the old woman. We have sold the pig. We have sold the cow. We have only ourselves and the cat left. And she began to cry. Don't cry, said the old man. Look, I found this pot beside the road. In a little while, I will go and sell it. And the old man lay down to rest. The old wife put the pot on the shelf, took the broom, and began to sweep. The pot turned around on its three iron legs, and it hopped off the shelf. Hucka pucka, said the pot. Where will you hucka pucka to, cried the woman. To the rich man's house and back again, said the pot. And hucka pucka, hucka pucka, out the door and down the road went the pot. See the pot? And his three iron legs jumping off the table. Pucka pucka into the rich man's kitchen it went. Aha, said the cook, just the pot I need to hold all this good stew. Into the pot went the stew. Pucka pucka said the pot, where will you hucka pucka to? cried the cook. To a place the rich have never been, said the pot, and before the cook could grab it, the pot went back down the road toward the poor man's hut. Look at that pot go. Full of stew this time. The poor old man was awake. His old wife was crying, for the pot was gone. When they saw it come back and smelled the good stew, they laughed for joy. They filled their bowls and ate until they could eat no more. They thanked the pot. The old woman washed it, and the old man set it back on the shelf. In a little while, the pot turned around on its three iron legs. Again, it hopped off the shelf. Hucka pucka, said the pot. Where will you hucka pucka to, said the old man. To the rich man's house, and back again said the pot, out the door, and down the road it went. There he goes. The door to the rich man's dairy was open. The dairy maid was churning butter. There was so much butter she had run out of tubs. Hucka pucka, hucka pucka, in came the pot. Aha, cried the dairy maid, just the pot I need to put the butter in. And she filled the pot with good sweet butter. Hucka pucka, said the pot. Where will you hucka pucka to, said the dairy maid. 
to a place the rich have never been, said the pot. Before the dairymaid could grab it, the pot went hucka-pucka, back down the road to the poor man's hut. Dairymaid churning butter. Pot leaving and heading for the poor man's house again. The old woman looked into the pot. Her eyes popped open. Butter, good sweet butter, some to eat and some to sell. And she and the old man clapped for joy. Off went the old man to trade some butter for eggs and bread. The old woman washed the pot. She hugged it and thanked it and put it on the shelf. She sat down with her mending by the fire. The pot sat quietly for a little while. Then it turned on its legs and hopped off the shelf. Hucka pucka, said the pot. Where will you hucka pucka to, said the old woman. To the rich man's house and back again, said the pot. Out the door and down the road to the rich man's house, it went. There goes the pot again to the rich man's house. The pantry door was open. The butler at the rich man's house was polishing the silver. Hucka pucka, hucka pucka, into the pantry went the pot. It stood very still. Aha, cried the butler, just the pot I need to hold some of this silver. And into the pot went silver spoons and knives and forks and cups and plates and bowls. When it was full to the top, the pot said, hucka pucka. Where will you hucka pucka to, said the butler. To a place the rich have never been, said the pot. Before the butler could stop it, down the road and back to the poor man's hut went the pot. Hucka pucka, hucka pucka, in came the pot. When the old man and his wife saw the pot full of silver, they skipped for joy. They took out the silver, they hugged the pot and thanked it and put it back on the shelf. The old man took some of the silver and went off to trade it for a cow. The old woman put the rest of the silver away. The pot rested for a little while, then off the shelf it hopped. Hucka pucka, said the pot. Where will you hucka pucka to, said the old woman, to the rich man's house and back again said the pot, out the door and down the road it went. Hucka pucka, hucka pucka. A window was open. Inside, the rich man was counting his gold and locking it up. Up hopped the pot and sat on the table. Aha, cried the rich man, just the pot I need to hold the rest of this gold and into the pot he poured the gold. Hucka pucka, said the pot. Where will you hucka pucka to, cried the rich man. To a place the rich have never been, said the pot. Off the table it hopped, and out the window. Hucka pucka, hucka pucka, down the road it went. The rich man went running after it. Look at the rich man running after the pot, filled with all of his gold. Wonder where he's going with that pot of gold. Stop, he yelled, come back with my gold. But the rich man was too fat to run very far. He had to sit down to catch his breath. Hucka pucka, hucka pucka, back to the hut went the pot. The old man had traded some of the silver for a nice brown cow. He was bringing in a pail of milk when the pot danced through the door. The old man and his old wife looked into the pot. They were so happy, they danced around for joy and around the hut they danced. The pot danced around with them. So did the cat. Look at the pot, the old man, the old woman, and the cat all dancing happily around in a circle. Who's that? Wow, the demon has returned. The old man and his old wife took the gold and put it away. They hugged the pot and thanked it and put it back on the shelf. The pot sat for a little while thinking, 
Then it turned around on its three iron legs and hopped off the shelf. Hucka pucka, said the pot. There is no need, said the old man and his old wife. You have brought us enough to last us the rest of our days. All the same, hucka pucka I must, said the pot. Where will you hucka pucka to, said the old man and his old wife. To the rich man's house, and I won't be back again, said the pot. And hucka pucka, off he went. The rich man was fishing in his pond. He saw the pot and said, Aha, just the pot I need. But it wasn't fish he put into the pot. He began filling it with stones and mud from the pond. You won't fool me again, yelled the rich man, and he dumped more and more mud and stones into the pot. The pot began to hop up and down on its three iron legs. Then it began to swell up bigger and bigger and bigger. As the rich man angrily stuffed more mud into it, the pot lifted him high into the air. Head over heels went the rich man, down into the pot full of mud. Into the mud went his fine clothes, his gold rings, and his gold chain. Wow. There he goes, into the pot. Mud, stones, everything. Gold chains, all of his jewelry, beautiful fine clothes, amazing. Help, help, cried the rich man trying to get out, but it did him no good. Hucka pucka, said the pot. Where were you hucka pucka to? sputtered the rich man, his mouth full of mud. The pot just grinned, and hucka pucka, hucka pucka, off they went, and were never seen again. Great story, isn't it? The magic pot. Several things we need to remember about the magic pot and its story and its lessons today. You know, we should remi be reminded not to ever be greedy. The rich man had all that he needed and was not going to be giving it away. From the uh, dairy made in the butter to the uh, gold in his pot, to the cow that he had, to uh, everything that he owned, he was not willing to give it. The pot realized that the rich, that the the old man and the old woman needed these things. So he uh, acted very quickly to overcome the greed of the rich man to take care of the needs of those that were far more in uh, hurting times as they were dealing with some very, very serious financial situations. It, it uh, reminds us to give to those who have need. This is a very difficult time for everybody, but we need to be understanding. We need to give to the church. We need to give to those that are struggling. Uh, sometimes we have more than we really think we have when we realize and consider the fact that there's lots of people who have very little. And finally, trust in God's provision. I almost see the old man, the old woman there praying every night for God to take care of them. And he did through the magic of this pot. So keep that in mind as you go about your day today. Don't be greedy. Always give to those who have need and really, really trust in the way God provides for you every single day. Have a great day. It is signing off time for Pleasant Pathways from Poppy. We'll see you tomorrow, God willing.